Uh, hello guys, uh, I'm June, and I made a, uh, for my project, it's a, like a drag and drop uh, point of sale system for like, like a retail store or uh, specifically uh, like a salon, because my family uh, manages a salon and uh, uh, like <clears throat> when we hire a receptionist, they always complain that like when customers come in and they're in the store for like an hour or two, like they lose, keep, uh, the, uh, they lose track of how, what they bought and they forget how much to charge them at the end. Because like in a salon, like there's like a bunch of different stations, like uh, a, st a station for like cutting your hair and then a station for like doing your like manicure or something. And then another for like waxing or something. And then and the, the customer is in there for a period of like two hours. So and time is 50 customers. Uh, like a receptionist cannot track that. So my idea was to like, uh, the best probably way, prob but probably the best way to, to uh, actually come up with like a visual design of the store, like I did so, um, and then you're able to drag the person. So this is a customer, right? And then the, and whenever the, whenever the person sits, you put them there, and the ch it changes to show that it's sitting. Person is sitting. All right, all right. And then um, so then like. Uh, you first write down what they bought or something, or you, you could say um, some service, and then the price is here, and then you add it, and then you go back, and then after they get that service, like in the 30 minutes, they're gonna go to another uh, location, and then they're gonna get another service. So, so you see it. Um, this was very complicated to figure out like X and Y coordinates, and um, that was just a lot of like debugging and running through like spaghetti of code, and uh, but finally got it to work. Um, so yeah, playing each num each check has a number, uh, like check one hundred three, one hundred one. Um, and if I add a customer, it pop ups again. The number is one hundred four, and then I can add more um, products that they bought here, and then um, X button obviously removes the customer um, and then yeah and then so for example you can keep track of what this person bought by like uh, so he starts out there and then he's gonna move there and then he's gonna move here and then he's ready to pay so uh, reception is uh, able to do that um, and yeah I mean uh, it's very like niche problem not a lot of know not a lot of people know about but um, yeah, I was I was just glad that uh, I was I found out a, a way to uh, solve this problem. So thank you guys.